So, a picture of the Alhambra. Where is Alhambra? Spain. Aha! I knew it! Globe. So we're gonna go to Spain and see if we can find some ice. Or maybe we're gonna get ice in Argent- not Argentina. We're in Argentina! We're going to Antarctica! I was just reading how at one point, the UK, Norway, Chile, Argentina, Australia, New Zealand, and France all had overlapping claims to portions of Antarctica. Right, and then they all agreed not to press those claims and signed the Antarctic Treaty, stating that Antarctica can only be used for peaceful and scientific purposes. Maybe that trend will catch on with the rest of the world. Let's hope. I still can't get over this place. And I thought Quebec was cold. Ah, but there's more than just meets the eye. It's thought that large reserves of oil lie around the coast, and there's definitely coal underground in some places. Well, I tell you, they need all the fuel reserves they can get around here. Because it's cold! And where is everyone? This place does seem deserted. Strange. Very deserted. Also, did you know there are aliens in Antarctica? Hawkins, this isn't the time for your alien theories. No, seriously, hey, seriously! Hey, check out the snowmobile! Let's Ooh. go exploring! Hold on, Hawkins. In this weather, we'd get lost without a signal to follow. Huh. Okay, well, where can we uh, use frequency... What was it? 857? And what's this? Aw, oh, cool! You'll never guess what this is! No, let me guess. An Acme 5XQ3 Turbo Whatsit with an X-ray tweeter. Do I detect a note of sarcasm in your voice, Jules? Actually, it's an Acme MV24 molecular scanner. But what's it doing here, Chief? Very interesting, Hawkins. Security mentioned the theft of one of those from our operative in Buenos Aires. Hang on to it. It may prove useful. Hmm. Hey, check out that cool transmitter over there by the window, and... Look! Whoa. Look! At the window! Who is that? What on earth? Quick! After them! Oh no! We're locked in! Don't worry about that! I'm prepared for any emergency! I... W well, I, I thought I had it. Now where did I put my refluxing lock disengager? Where'd you get that? N424 Electrosonifier. Standard Acme issue. Now... Where did they go? Looks like they hightailed it out of here. We need to figure out where they went. Maybe that transmitter inside can help. But how did they know we'd be here? Wait, that rancher from Argentina. I told you he was up to no good. Okay, let's see if we can input the correct frequency. Might as well. So, eight, five, seven. <laughs> That's it! We can home in on that signal! So we can follow that person. What's this? What a cool hunk of rock! It must be a meteorite! Here's a cool factoid. Since 1974, more than 14,000 meteorites have been found in the ice. Because of the aliens! <laughs> this is a biography of James Cook. In the 1770s, he sailed below the Antarctic Circle, looking for a fabled southern continent. All he ever saw was lots of ice. But he knew there must be a continent there. Hmm, this is quite a find. It seems to be part of a journal. Something tells me it may belong to someone we're quite familiar with already. Ms. You-Know-Who? Well, she's definitely been here then. We're still on the right track. The seas around Antarctica are full of life. There are even six different species of seal that live here. Hmm, that's a lot. Someone evidently likes pe someone evidently likes penguins around here. Seven of the world's 18 species of penguin are found in Antarctica or nearby islands. So this is the place to see them. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So now that we know the signal, we can follow on snowmobile, correct? Can't get this thing started without a key. Now where would they keep the key to this thing? Hmm, perhaps the key is hidden somewhere. 98% of Antarctica. Looks like a key uh -huh. might have fallen out of the storage unit. 
We need to search around this area with the molecular scanner. So where could the key be? Ooh, I can look inside these boxes? Or not. For a second there, it looks like I could. Yes, I can! Found, Found something! My super spy instincts tell me that this may be useful. My, what keen instincts you have. A useful key, huh? Well, we needed a key. The key, key must fit the snowmobile. Climb on! Let's follow the signal and go find those vaults. As long as you know how to drive this thing. There's a first time for everything, Hawkins. Hang on! Woo! Snowmobiling. What's this? <laughs> Wow, this looks complicated. Wow, this looks like some kind of crazy lock scheme. Yeah, it's got Carmen Sandiego's name all over it. But I think we're missing some clues. We need to search around some more. We're missing a ton of clues. We have exactly zero clues to solving that puzzle, so let's go to Spain. Spain? Now, Madrid's the capital of Spain, and we're not even going there this time? Not this time. We're flying into Granada. Keep your eyes open for the Rock of Gibraltar. You'll be sorry if you miss it. What's so special about a big limestone rock? This is a huge limestone formation. It sits in the Strait of Gibraltar, the narrow entrance to the Mediterranean Sea which separates Europe from Africa. You can deduce that it's a fairly important chunk of real estate. Comprende, amigo? The chief said this villa had been rented by a bile agent recently. We need to keep our eyes open for a clue as to where that Senmut table might be stashed. Yeah, this is some fancy place. And isn't that big building over there, the Alhambra? Magnificent! Well, did you know this fact, Mr. Trivia? There's an unusual carving at the gate of the Alhambra of a hand and a key. According to Washington Irving's tale, the hand will one day reach down and grab the key. Then the earth will open and the hidden treasure will be found. Washington Irving, the legend of Sleepy Hollow author? That's right, Hawkins. Okay. So this looks like a clue puzzle thing. Looks like we interrupted someone's game of chess. Check it out. Giant-sized. And look, there's that wheel design again. I'll take a photo of this. Whenever we see that design, Carmen Sandiego is definitely involved. Wait a minute. This isn't just the design. Take a closer look. Wow, I didn't notice. These look like drawings of the items Carmen's been stealing. At least five of them look familiar. Let's call the chief and see if she has any information on this villa. The villa? As a matter of fact, I've looked into it further. It once belonged to a reclusive Portuguese explorer. No one knows much about him, but there's a legend that he had a great treasure. That diary page we got in Thailand. Do you suppose it could be the same explorer? My intuition tells me that explorer, the wheel design, and a great treasure are all connected. Now why would Carmen want the gems from these things? And are the other two items on her list? Well, I say you'd better note all that in your journal, regardless of what your intuition tells you. Yeah, that can't be a chessboard. Those are all pawns. There are other pieces in chess, not just the one type of piece. Spanish oranges are famous, of course, but you'll also find other citrus fruits, not to mention grapes and olives growing around here. What about this? That looks like something I can open, but I can't zoom in on it. I love all the beautiful art and architecture in Spain. Many countries in the world reflect the Spanish influence from when Spain was a world power in the 16th and 17th centuries. The Moors built the Alhambra in the 14th century. The fortress, or Alcazar, the gardens, and the royal palace reflect the Muslim African style that so influenced Spain. 